today I'll show you how to build this custom bottom navigation bar in Flutter with animated icons from right. We are starting with an empty Flutter project that includes an access directory. Inside the lib folder, you'll find models. In the main.dart file, we have bottom nav with animated icons, which is currently a stateful widget. Also up here, mention the background color for the bottom navigation bar. We are going to use three animated icons from the RIPE community. You can easily download those. I have already added it to our assets directory. It's important to also mention them in pubspec.yml under assets. Lastly, we need to add the RIPE package, which I have already done for us. Inside the models folder, I have created RIPE model with source, artboard, and state machine name. But what exactly are artboard and state machine name? Let's back to our animated icons. When you click remix button, it's like seeing the blueprint. You'll notice that each icon is named, which is what we call artboard. Every artboard is linked to a state machine. Here the name is timer interactivity. Also the state machine has two states, ideal and active. Those states are key because they let us control the animation of the icon. Now let's back to our code and start the most fun part. The nav item model includes two key parts, title and rhyme. Higher rhyme refer to our rhyme model and the bottom nav item that holds all the item for our bottom navigation bar. Let's back to the bottom nav with animated icons. And this is the preview of what we need to build. For that, we are not going to use the traditional bottom navigation bar wizard. Instead, use container. This container has a padding all around of 12. For its appearance, we set the box decoration color to bottom nav BG color with an opacity of 0.8. The container currently takes up all the screen. To address this, we'll set the height to 56 just for now. Also to fix that issue, we'll wrap the container in a safe area. Set the horizontal margin to 24. Now to give it a rounded edges, we, we add a border radius of 24. To enhance the look further, let's add a shadow. We'll use the same bottom nav BG color, but with reduced opacity of 0.3. The shadows offset is x0, y20 and also set a blur radius of 20. It looks perfect now. Now let's display the icons. We do this using a row whose children are generated through list.generate. The length is set to bottom nav items.length. With each icon having a height and width of 36, arrive animation.access to define the source. It initially display only one icons for all. This happens because our file contains all the icons and we need to specify which one we want using artboard. Now perfect. For better spacing between them, set the main axis alignment to space between. You will notice some icons are animating while others aren't. Don't worry about it. We'll address this very soon. Finally, let's remove the fixed height from the container for better layout. It's more efficient to create a variable name RIBE icon. This way, instead of repeatedly using bottom nav items index.rive, we can simply refer to RIBE icon. To manage the animation, we need to set up a controller. During the on it stage, let's define the state machine controller, then assign it using from artboard. Here we need to pass the artboard and state machine name. After that, our next step is to attach this controller to the artboard. Now that we have our controller set up, you might be wondering what exactly we are going to control with it. Let's head back to the Rive editor. Under inputs, you'll find the active checkbox. Setting this active to true trigger the animation. This is exactly what we'll use to control our animation. To access that here, 
we use the find input. Here we need to mention the name of the input. Now let's create an empty list called arrive icon input. We'll add our input to that list, allowing us to access it from anywhere in our code. Finally and importantly, let's wrap our size box with a gesture detector. On tapping, this will set the input status to true. It working as expected, but there's a small issue. Now all the icons are animating continuously. Each icon takes one second to complete its animation, then it repeats. So we'll stop the animation after one second using future.delayed. And just like that, the problem is solved. Let's tidy up our code a bit with some refactoring. First, we'll create a function named animate the icon. This function will recur and index as its parameter. We'll take the relevant code from our onTap method and place here. Now, instead of having a long block of code, we simply call animate the icon. Similarly, for on init, let's create a function called ribe on init. We'll move the entire on init code into this function. Then in our on init, we'll just reference rive on init. That makes our code much cleaner and more manageable. Take a look at this. There's an animated bar on selected icon. Let's replicate that. Start by wrapping the size box with a column. Don't worry about it. Just set the main axis size to mint and the problem is solved. Then add an animated container above the icons. Set the duration to 200 milliseconds, bottom margin to 2, height to 4, and width to 20. On box decoration, set the color and give it a border radius on all sides of 12. Next, extract this into a new widget called animated bar and add a parameter is active. If is active equal to true, the width is 20, otherwise it's 0. For now, we'll assume it's active if the index is equal 0. Let's introduce a new variable, selected nav index. On tapping an icon, update selected nav index using set step. Apply this to animated bar so that the bar shows on top of selected icon. Also, if the icon is not selected, then the icon opacity is 0.5. With those changes, it looks much better and behave as expected. Our bottom navigation will looks perfect now, but there's one oversight. We have defined controllers, but haven't disposed of them. Let's fix that. First, we'll create a list of state machine controller named controllers. For now, it's an empty list. During the arrive on init process, we'll add our controller to this list and make sure to dispose all those controllers when they are no longer needed. Now, let's set our pages. We'll create a variable called pages and include list of text. Those are chat, search, history, notification, and profile. In the body of our app, we'll use center with the text widget to display those pages. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more Flutter animated videos, feel free to check out this one. I hope you'll find it just as helpful and enjoyable. Happy coding.